Many thanks to the universe! We're out here with um, eight of our earliest GoPro employees to kind of celebrate what we've accomplished and catch up with you and Forbes on the GoPro story. So we got here, we took a, a jet to a helicopter um, to get here. It's a long way from when you guys used to drive Penske trucks and you lived out of your van selling essentially what was the, was the starter for, for the, yeah, the whole early, company. Yeah, the early cameras. The crew that we've got here today uh, is the same crew that, as you mentioned, was drove the Penske trucks out to all the trade shows. You know, we drive from San Francisco to Salt Lake City, Utah, all through the night to then set up all through the next night the trade show booth, trying to make this dream of GoPro real and it's that passion that's made us so successful today. So it's really exciting to, to finally be at a place where the company is doing well enough where we all get to start to enjoy some of the fruits of that labor. Do you think this has the potential to displace camcorders and, and other video equipment? It already has. Consumers are no longer spending their money on um, point and shoot cameras, pocket cameras because they already have that in the form of their smartphone. So they have disposable income for something like a GoPro, which is highly differentiated from a smartphone. A GoPro is never going to replace a smartphone for reactive capture moments where something is happening and, oh, I want to quickly capture that. Because you have your smartphone on you, you quickly take a photo and share it, and that's it. GoPro's opportunity is to help people capture meaningful life's experiences uh, in an engaging, immersive way that they can't with a smartphone. For example, capturing your perspective going skiing today in an you know, IMAX-like, huge, big, wide-angle, highly immersive manner that it's, when you watch it, it's like reliving that experience. People think that GoPro is like an overnight success, but it's a classic 10-year overnight success. So, started in 2002. Um, let's talk about that initiation of the dream. How did that start and how did that come about? I'd started a business before that um, I raised four million bucks of other people's money, mm -hmm. uh, started a web uh, marketing company, went boom and bust with the first dot-com boom and bust. Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to make it as an entrepreneur and start another business, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. And so uh, for inspiration, I went surfing and I planned a five month surf trip around Australia and Indonesia. The inspiration came before I even left. I wanted to capture photos of myself and my friends that I was going on the trip with while we were surfing out in the water. And no camera existed that allowed you to do that. And so I set out to develop this wrist harness that I could put a single-use disposable camera into and surf with it. Um, and it, I didn't even mean it to be a business idea. I just wanted to document my experience on this trip. And as soon as I got it working well, the light bulb went off and I realized, oh my God, there must be so many other surfers in the world that want something like this. So you started with wrist straps, essentially. But how do you go from wrist straps, which very simple to hardware and to actually developing a camera. I wanted to use higher quality cameras with my wrist strap to capture higher quality photos but every camera that I would use with the strap surfing I would break the camera because cameras weren't designed to be used during rigorous activities like surfing and what I ended up doing was I spent two years um, going to trade shows uh, the camera trade shows around the world to look for a camera that was close to what I would want to design. After a year and a half, about a year, I, I found it and uh, got the manufacturer to agree to make the modifications and begin building the cameras for me. I actually did the deal without ever meeting the actual company. 
is all email. I had one phone call where we could barely understand each other because of language barrier. You know, they're, they're, in, they're in Shenzhen. I wired my five thousand dollars for the tool to be to be um, the mold to be made because it was it was actually cheaper just to wire five grand than to fly over there, meet them, have a business trip, and I, I just figured, okay, we'll just go for it. And they ended up uh, being legitimate. And we were profitable from day one because it was just me, one employee. We just had no overhead and uh, rolled one good production run into another and slowly scaled it. And the GoPro that, that everybody knows today uh, has been built on $265,000 of capital. And you guys have just announced a recent round of funding by Foxconn. Foxconn um, bought into the company right, right. and uh, bought a stake, um, um, almost a 9% stake, for a couple hundred million. So when you think of where we've come from um, with this you know, $3 cost reusable camera on the wrist for surfers to where we are now with the Hero 3 right. to where we're now going to be going um, with Foxconn, is, um, it's really exciting. So this is really becoming a everyday product. Yeah, I, it's a life capture device. So, you know, we're skiing today with it, you know, on your chest and on my helmet and mounted on ski poles looking back at us and on the ski tips looking back at us. Uh, it's the same camera that surgeons are mounting to their um, headwear to document their surgical procedures to share with students around the world. It's the same camera that uh, Discovery Channel is using to shoot most of its TV shows, capturing perspectives that they otherwise wouldn't be able to. We know the military is using it extensively, both for combat um, documentation and also for training. This is still the same device that they're that is sold, you know, at Best Buy, uh, ski, shop, ski shops, and surf shops. There's a major shift in what consumers are looking for to help them document their lives, and they're they're looking to GoPro. Hey, 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 hey,